Hey, what's up everyone, Ollie here. So just before we get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to my newsletter, which I send out once a month, just so I don't feel like I'm spamming. But basically I send out a newsletter once a month, just sharing interesting things, experiences, links to interesting stuff as well, and just other stuff that you, I wouldn't be able to share in a video basically. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Make sure to subscribe. So how I plan to beat inflation. So I'm pretty much beating inflation right now anyway. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm tooting my own horn there, but I am beating inflation when I look at my investments and stocks and whatever else, but we'll get into that later in the video. First thing I wanna cover is, what is inflation? Even I didn't know what inflation really was until about four or five years ago. Um, I, f I feel like I've really understood it a lot more in the last couple of years. It's just made a lot more sense. And inflation is something that I feel like everyone should be aware of because it makes a big impact on your money and, and what you can do with your money. So I've pretty much ripped the definition of inflation off of Wikipedia. But anyway, inflation is when the price of goods and services gradually increase over time. When the general price rises, each unit of currency buys fewer goods and services. So over time, the purchasing power of that money decreases. As a very basic example, a bottle of milk is a lot more expensive today than it was say 10, 20, 30 years ago. Obviously it doesn't just apply to milk, it applies to everything. Like that's the whole point of it. Inflation usually applies to nearly everything. Um, house prices is a really good example of something increasing in price much more than the average. I feel like the inflation of house prices is very high compared to sort of normal and average inflation, right? So on average, in the last 12 months, inflation has risen by 5.5% in the UK and 7.9% in the US. Um, that's actually very high compared to the average, which is usually between one to 3%. And at the rate it's going, this year, it's most likely going to be even worse. So yeah, I've been trying to figure out ways to, to beat inflation and hopefully share that information with you guys. Um, because like I said, inflation should be something you're, you're definitely aware of and are tackling. So the first thing I do is limit my savings. So I don't actually have much money in my savings. Interest on savings accounts are just absolutely terrible right now. It's not even worth having a savings account really because it's not keeping up with inflation. It's just not. By having cash just sitting in your bank account, you're actually losing money, technically losing money. So I'm currently investing as much of it as I can or just spending it, buying stuff, buying things or spending it on services or whatever that I feel like might try and give me a return in some way or another. I feel like you have to have a good balance because obviously you don't want to be spending your money like crazy just because you think, oh, you know, it's just gonna be worthless and have many months or whatever. No, you should have a good balance. Of course, it's good to treat yourself. You know, you don't have to always be investing all that money. I try and only keep between six to 12 months of emergency money. So if all of my income disappeared tomorrow, I just stopped earning money completely, I'd still have enough money to pay my mortgage, to pay all of my bills, all of my bills, I'm talking everything, for the next year without having to actually sell any of my assets. That's been a big one for me because I remember growing up, I didn't have that emergency fund. And now I'm in a much more comfortable position in my life. Hopefully you guys are also in that position because I know not everyone can be in the same position, but having that emergency fund is very important. But any more than that, I usually just chuck into investments as much as I can um, or just buy stuff that will bring me value in my life. Next up is investing. So where am I actually investing my money? Most of my money is currently being plowed into long-term stocks and shares. When I look at one of my investments account, which is with a company called Free Trade, in the last year, my portfolio has gone up by 22.8%. That is healthily beating the S&P 500, which went up by 8.7% in the last 12 months. That's also beating inflation, of course, which is even more important, I think, as not only is my purchasing power going up, but I'm also making money on my investments. So it's a win-win, really. Um, when it comes to my actual investment strategy, it is super, super simple. I'm not a day trader. I'm not looking to make money quickly or anything like that. I'm not one to buy and sell stocks daily. I'm looking at companies that I think will go up in value over the next two, five, or 10 years. And usually companies I'm familiar with or companies that I actually buy from myself, such as Apple, Google, Nvidia, Amazon, and sort of other companies. I am definitely biased towards tech companies, but it's what I'm familiar with and they perform well according to historic data. So I think that's important, investing in stuff that you know, you're actually familiar with, companies are familiar with, but if you're not familiar with anything, just invest in the S&P 500 or, or sort of any sort of NFTs that sort of cover the stock market broadly because yeah, it's, it's 
just about beating inflation right now, um, which is important. Like I said, that's the most important thing that the value of your money isn't decreasing. If you have it in stocks and shares, if you have it in S&P 500, just simple stocks, um, yeah, it will keep up with inflation and you just won't lose that money. Next up is property. So I only have the one house that I live in. That's the only property I have. And I've started actually spending money on my house, whether it be renovations, I've even considered an extension. Um, anything that will just add value to the house, anything that will bring up the, the sort of overall value of the house and just, you know, just make it a nicer place, a nicer house. I currently just have no interest in investing in other properties right now, mainly because I enjoy doing business stuff right now, but that may change in the future. I'm always considering options. I'm always open to any ideas, anything and everything. By buying into the property market with the one property I have and living in it, I'm actually technically not really making money. I'm actually just keeping pace with the market itself. So if the next house that I'm looking at or next door neighbor or whatever, or just a housing market in general goes up in value 10% in the last 12 months, my house will also be going up at the same rate, which is important because, you know, if I have a half a million pound house and it's gone up by 50,000 in the last 12 months, you know, that's a 50,000 pound gain I've had there that I can use towards the next property or when I move or whatever. But obviously, like I said, you know, it, it goes up with all the other properties as well. So I'm not really making money. I'm just keeping pace with the market. Buying a house was definitely one of the best financial decisions I've made for sure. Not only financially, of course, but also for my mental well-being. Ever since moving out of my parents' house and just being able to have my own place, make it the way I want, my own space, my, my own sort of place to do whatever I want with, make it comfortable for me. Yeah, it just makes a big difference, let me tell you. You know, just being able to have full control of everything, yeah, just makes such a big difference for my mental well-being. And I've definitely noticed I'm much more happier and calmer having my own place. And then the next one is increasing my income. So by far, the best way to beat inflation, to beat everything, is just to increase your income. Working out how you can make more money, working out how I can make more money. You can only save and invest so much money with your current earnings. You know, if you stay at 50,000, say say you have 50,000 salary, if you stay at 50,000 salary for 10 years, a 50,000 salary 10 years ago will buy you a lot more than it will now. So the most important thing is definitely just increasing your income, working out how, ways to increase your income. Um, I'm very focused on figuring out how to make more money whilst also committing less time to actual work. Of course, that's like the dream situation. That's what I'm always striving for as I want a good work-life balance. I don't want to be in 10, 20 years time still working 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours a week. Like that's just not for me. I'm already sort of cutting back how many hours I work whilst also increasing my income. Sure, I could actually work harder, work more hours and make more money, but the sort of balance for me isn't worth it. Like, you know, it's just not worth it. It's not worth me putting a lot more time into work just to have an impact on my sort of mental well-being when the money I'm earning is more than comfortable already I'm not, I'm not looking to make crazy amounts or anything I'm just looking to be comfortable that's the most important thing for me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said at the beginning please subscribe to my newsletter if you have any tips or tricks on sort of how you're going to beat inflation maybe some sort of ideas or how to beat inflation or just making more money or whatever <laughs> whatever you have please leave a comment below I'm always interested in seeing what other people have to say so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.